Okay, hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I was gonna show you what all I've done. I put both the uh, solved and unsolved on there, and put the little case number on the side as well as the front. Um, and in here, I have all of the images that I was going to use for the first part of the story, which was the one that Justin told. A little outbuilding and the stairs where the doctor died. The ghostly activities that they got on camera. We got Violet and Dr. Millsand here. Millsands again in their wedding photo. Um, where they talk about the case being solved. More ghostly activities. The little map. The deed. Um, <clears throat> the church. And then we have the investigators. His notes. Some more things that have happened. The priest and the prisoner. The ghost of the priest. Ernest Brundle, some more, some of his books, his case, the car he came up in, his matchbooks, the uh, names of the other people, his case. We have a picture of Alice. There he is, and we have Dorothy there, and the other gentleman. I can't remember his name right off the bat. Where is that? That has their names on it. Uh, Carl Edwards. So. Because that guy looks like a Carl to me. So. So that is all the stuff for the first part of the case. So I just wanted to show you what I've got done so far. I have got everything printed out that I'm going to use, but I still have to write the part of the story that I want to write. And this is Jeffrey and Rose on their date and their wedding photo. Just got it clipped in. <clears throat> And uh, still have the map over here. Um, and I got the tag. She will become relevant later on. As anything else that I put in, people-wise, will uh, too. But um, that's what I've got done on that so far. Um, this will go up on the 4th of July. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't, I'm not sure what else that I can really say about it right now. Um, I don't want to work too far ahead because I have not written the story out. I know what's going to happen, but I have not written the story out so that I can then start adding the ephemera and stuff but as I said I'll work on it as I can uh, I have my envelope punch board out right now because I wanted to do a uh, oh, book page Like make little file folders, I think. And out of some book pages. Well, let's see. Let me grab a page that looks like
think I'm gonna fold it up like that. And I think in your post, I think. I don't know, I've never done it with a punch board before. Cut off that edge. I mean, yeah, it kind of looks like a little file folder tab thingy. I feel like that could be cut down a little bit more though. Yeah. Yeah, I think that looks a little better. Let me ink that a little bit so you can see it. That's the wrong dauber. I think that would work perfect. Well, you could, um, you know, flip it around if you wanted to, to where it's, uh, you know, well, it'd be right side up this way, but not right side up the other way, still upside down. But you can decorate the front and the back if you wanted to, and the insides, or leave it like it is. Provided that, you know, it doesn't have, like, a lot of bad words or anything like that in there. Because you never know who could be reading it. I don't know. I didn't... I didn't read it. This one's about death and murders. Detective story. So somebody may not want to read that. Especially if they are not, uh into those types of stories, you know. <clears throat> so I hope you guys are doing well today. Uh, I guess I'll be alright once I get over this stupid pneumonia. I've just, I've just now got it. I mean, I've only felt bad for this, like, the second day, but it's like the beginning stages of pneumonia, so see I wonder if I could do it kinda in the middle. Here. Trim that off mm, a little straighter. I mean, yeah, you could um, line those up, of course, to work together. So it's pretty easy to do if you got a little punch board. And then, you know, if you want them rounded, you can keep them rounded. And, you know, if you want them squared, you can just cut them off. So just a quick, um, 
easy little book page project that you can do if you have a punch board. Um, if you don't have a punch board, you might be able to do it with uh, like a tag punch or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, if you could do it with any other type of punch, maybe. I've never seen anybody use a different type of punch before, so I'm not 100% certain on that. But anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys back here again really soon. Bye.